the best sex protocol on testosterone. This is it. I've always wanted to make this. I think I have actually made this before, but I'm going to make it better this time. So men come to me on testosterone all day long. They want to be on testosterone because they love the sex. Even young men, because they're taking testosterone and there's more free testosterone going into the central nervous system the testicle can make. And this is what it comes down to, guys. So So here's what it's going to be. What do I see to be the best protocol? It's going to be small doses of intermuscular testosterone. I'm giving it to you guys now. Sipinate, enanthate, sussinon 250. There's no question this is going to be better than topical, pellets, or even oral administration. Now, I'm not saying that you can't be on a topical or an, a pellet or an oral, but I'm telling you in the end of the day, in the streets, men are on testosterone esters, and you find this right balance and it goes into the brain and they feel absolutely wild sexually. And again, that's a side effect, guys, because you can that could be a bad thing. So the doses are gonna be something like half a mil every four to six days. You wanna check the nadir. You wanna look at the free testosterone and the goal of that free testosterone is gonna be the upper limit or slightly super physiologic. Again, I'm working all over the world, but when I see the dose and I'm seeing the scale that's more common in North America is that picogram per mil scale up to 155. I do allow the nadirs to sit 145, 130 up to 175. I'm telling you, there's something that happens to a man's brain when he's on that level. It's just voila for these men. Now, can it be less? Can it be more? Of course, it has to be dialed in. Now, after you inject that 36, 48 hour period, it's going to go higher. You're talking nadirs here. Guys, you have to understand from dose to dose in the frequency, there's going to be some modulation, obviously, but you have to work on this. Next, you want estrogen. You guys are complete, these anti-aging guys are just selling garbage to you guys. We've proved it. It's been year and year and tens and thousands of men. Ultra sensitive estradiol levels are upper limit normal or actually slightly super physiologic. I'm telling you guys, you're not arguing. No one's gonna argue this. You can't argue it. Men just feel giddy. Now, are some men, is it bad for them? Are they emotional? Of course, we have to balance all these men. I don't like aromatase inhibitors. So many men will say they've taken it from anti-aging or themselves, and it just, it debilitated their sex drive. You're on testosterone, there's gonna be some aromatization, guys. Just deal with that and use the, the modulation of the actual ester injection itself. This has to be clear to you guys. I don't like tamoxifen either. It's, it's a, another breast cancer medicine. I just don't, I understand it can be used for short periods for uh, transient gynecomastia. You just tell the anti-aging guy, no. You wanna go to an anti-aging place, great. They give you all the drugs you want. You just wanna say, try modulating testosterone. And of course you could look at these numbers, the testosterone, the free, of course, the estrogen. You wanna get a feel for who you are. Most guys, it's that small half dose, that, that half a mil every five to six days, or you could even take it smaller and break them up. Guys, give us comments. Everyone's seeing it here. You could see what's going on. There's no rocket science on this, guys, please. Next. You're going to want to look at other modulations. I'm going to give something very straight to you guys right in here. Caber Goline. Okay, Caber. So there is a role for this. For some men, if you look at the prolactin levels and they're on testosterone and they have an upper limit very over, over the upper limit normal of what is a normal prolactin level, you actually may have a small lesion in the hypothalamus pituitary. I work with real endocrinology doctors all the time. When they see this, we can use small doses of caber. It's 0 0.25 milligrams, guys. 0 0.25 milligrams. It's either once or twice a week. I'm giving all the stuff. I know you guys want this stuff. 
end. I also see it with men that have depression. Men have lives, people are real, depression's real, they have to live on some antidepressant. They're on testosterone and that the sexual function is not maximized. So I've had great response using these teeny doses of Kaber for men because the antidepressant increases the prolactin in the central nervous system. And sometimes you can't offset that by manipulating the testosterone ester. Boom, there it is for you guys. What else are we gonna have? Modulation. Also, you want to look at other medications. You wanna look at other medical issues. The, the, the sexual function of a man is so multifactorial. There's so many factors going on from your central nervous system, absence of depression, over anxiety, your PTSD, functional tracks that go up and down, neurologic system, the endocrine system, circulatory system, and your, your vasoactive abilities and the corpus cavernosum in the penis. So you have to look at blood pressure and heart rate. These are vital signs, guys. Blood pressure's gotta be perfect. Heart rate's perfect. I, I'm gonna tell you, and the app is gonna come out, I'm gonna give discrete information. It's gonna be how to use ACE, a or B, and special, very special, unique types of beta blockers and other medicines that we use for cardiovascular disease and hematologic disease. I use them on my men all the time. You're gonna come out. Next, you look at the CBC. If you are so filled up and your iron studies are overloaded or you're anemic on the iron studies and you're phlebotomizing too much or there's something wrong. I have men with thalassemias. I see so many, so much interplay with the hematologic system, the CBC. You gotta check it, the iron studies. Glucose, if you're pre-diabetic, if you're frankly diabetic, comprehensive metabolic, hemoglobin A1C, guys, your sex drive is definitely, and your abilities are gonna be impaired Please listen to me. The blood pressure, the cholesterol, the sugar, they're not just words that roll off a primary care man's or doctor's tongue. You have to integrate these into the therapy on testosterone. I promise you, sex will be outrageous. Your sexual abilities can be outrageous. Check a urinalysis, guys. Look for the protein in the blood. Check a PSA. You're getting older. You're like me, you're getting older. Your prostate enlarges a bit. Is it prostate cancer? Is it BPH? Benign prostatic hyperplasia is so important, guys. You have to understand this. It's not just seeing some urologist and dumping Flomax on or some other medicines on guys. I disagree with that. Although there are secret medicines, I'm gonna give it to you guys, Tadalafil. Tadalafil is for sex, it's for on-demand, it's for daily dosing, and it's for BPH. I'm giving these secrets to you guys. So Denafil, you could use GoodRx in America. There's a coupon. This stuff is dirt cheap. It's actually dirt cheap. So these are sex meds. You have to address the sexual function. You have to get digital rectal exams. You can have a very good urologist. You can see some of these studies that they can do. They can do penile studies. They can look at blood flow. I use all these things, guys, all the time for men. I'm an internal medicine doctor. I work with surgeons all over the world. Next. When you're training hard and you're in great functional shape with high intensity interval training, you guys know I love it, the mountain biking and all this crazy stuff, you know that your sex function, your erections are gonna be so much better. So do it, guys. The diet, we always talk about the diet. It's controversial, the plant-based, the ketogenic, the intermittent fasting. Guys, pull this stuff together for yourself. The sex is gonna be outrageous. And the last part is the mental health aspect of this. There are men, obviously, that really have depression and anxiety and PTSD. It's such a real thing. I, I'm talking more about and seeing more that in my own patients, they're sharing with me that cognitive behavioral therapy is outrageous. You have to get involved in this. You have to take a look at yourself, meditation. And then in the end, you can play great sexual games with your partner. You can enjoy life and you can open up to your partner. You can have this, even men in their 40s and 50s are coming out and they're opening up and they're just enjoying new parameters of sex because of this new perspectives and their own personality is changing and they're accepting things as they're getting older. So this is apart from all my physical medicine. There it is, guys. Best sex protocol on testosterone. This is how I maximize it all. Let's get the comments going. And I wanna get 
everything just torn open here, guys. Let it all out. Let's see all these aspects and every single piece I want you guys to share so all the men in the world can have the best possible sex life there is on testosterone. Thank you so much.